Hi guys, it's Joy Rowan, and this is going to be my new fun once a week video for makeupy girly things. I've decided to call it Pretty Potions, and I'm going to do it once a week. And it's basically just a little bit of something fun and light just to break up all the other stuff. So, this week's makeupy look is inspired by the Evil Queen in Snow White. And I had a look around for a couple of inspiration y images and things and there are three that I looked at. Um, one was the Disney Snow White Evil Queen and there's the picture where she's holding a box and she has brown eyeshadow on. The um, new movie where Charlie's Theron plays the the Evil Queen, um, the Snow White and the Huntsman, which is worth a watch if you haven't gone and seen it already. There's a few problems with it but um, overall it's a really good movie and the MAC Collection Venomous Villains, which I never managed to get my hands on. I really wanted the Maleficent Collection, but I never managed to get it. So, this is my take on that. It's just a fun girly video again. If you're not interested in that sort of thing, fair enough. It's just something to break up the um, the more serious -y videos, the more, you know, in-depth videos. Just something a little bit lighter. Um, and I need to do a couple of reactionary videos <laughs> and I have quite strong makeup on so I thought well, maybe if I post this one first people would be like why are you so made up? So the first thing I started with last week was nails and I had a look and of all the ones with the Charlie's Theron she appears to have pale nails on like nothing at all because she has these big rings on and things and that's what they, I think they wanted the focus to be. So. I had to make up my own mind about what I wanted to do and I did this. It's a nude, the new nude Fairy M and a black tip that I just painted on. I'm not brilliant at it, I could probably do with a nail pen. But um, so this was Fairy M342 in nude. And then Barry M47 black. So again, it's just that one's not so good. Um, a nude base with a black tip. I'm going to show you the jewellery now. Pop this on. This is my mirror mirror ring, which I love. And it looks like a giant mirror, you see? Yeah, look at that. So that's awesome. And I have this that I'll show you. Maybe put it on later. It's the apple. That one's from Accessorize. It wasn't that expensive. Six, seven pounds for the apple. On the necklace. The ring was from a gothic slash pagan shop in Nottingham called Ice Nine. Okay, so then I just did um, my normal makeup. I made my brows a bit stronger than I might normally because in, they usually have strong brows. And oh, there we go. I use, I won't show you the inside because it's quite well worn, but I use Benefit um, Browsings in medium brown. I love Benefit Cosmetics. So then I just lip balm on my lip, left my lip because the eyes are so so dark. So mm -hmm. the lighting is really weird on the webcam. These aren't actually different colours. They are, you know, pretty much exactly the same. It's just the webcam is not playing more. Mascara and eyeliner obviously. And then I'll show you the colours that I put on. Now the first one was when Boots did a collaboration between Liberty and Hello Kitty and they did these cute little pots. I had to have the eyeshadows and this one is called Nude but I mean if you look at the colour on my nail as Nude this looks more like a brown, grey brown to me. And that was on the base. And then I used 
two Barry Anderson dusts over the top. One is number 39 and has a sort of metallic y, goldy um, shimmer to it. And the second one I've got over the top was number 51 Barry M, which has, I think it's been called mushroom tones before, and it's sort of. Mm, come on, webcam. Sort of a dark brownie shimmer. And I went for the, the dark brown eye because. Um, the, all the inspirations seem to have this dark effect. Charlie's Theorem has um, a one look which is sort of metallic -y browns and another one which is a metallic -y grey and both are really strong and really gorgeous. So, <laughs> so I really like the nails like this. I think they're cool. And this is my favourite ring. So, so oh, there we go. I did put some of the the moonbeam on my cheeks because that's the um, the more apricoty shim shimmer. I mean, this, the queen is supposed to be um, the most beautiful person before Snow White. And the reason I went for the queen rather than Snow White, apart from the fact that they're far more interesting, <laughs> what does that say about you? I do not know. Um, but the Snow White just is kind of boring makeup wise. I mean, I've seen they did a, a makeup collection exclusive to Tesco. I forgot what they're called, but it's Snow White and the Huntsman set, and it's twenty seven pounds, which is way too much for what it is. And it's all based on Snow White stuff, and it's so boring. It's like, why wouldn't you have done the Queen? I mean, she has the most amazing outfits, the most amazing makeup. She, I mean, Charlie's Theron blows you away when you go see that movie. She's fantastic. I don't know. But anyway, so that is this week's Pretty Potions. I hope you like. It's just silly. I'm going to do it once a week based on mythical creatures or fairy tales or just pagany. I don't know. Is, would you call it pagany? Oh gosh, why is I don't know why the light is so different on both. <laughs> there <laughs> you see it's 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 equally dark now <sighs> yes i'm that silly so that was my dark queen from snow white pretty potions for this week just something small and silly and just so people know why i'm so made up when i do the reaction videos to everything else blessings